All right, time to start on Night Bewitched 2. We'll see if we actually learn something about Lois, Lois Master. Use the arrow keys or mouse to move. Select and confirm Z or left click. Okay, F1 full screen, F5 reset, even though it's usually F4. Hey, we've been here before. Well, it certainly looks, it does look like a Helonian temple. Hagar, you're sure this is the place? I'm sure as he is. Well, is it? Yes, I'm sure of it. Alex, what's it look like in there? You know there's a front door, right? Yeah, but jumping out the window looks way cooler. Anyway, place is littered with baddies, but nothing we can't take care of. As long as this guy here helps us out, that is. What's your name again? Hermes. Neat, like the guy with the heel, right? I er, no, that's... And never mind, just stick with us, okay? Toss us a heel here and there and everything will go just fine. Sure, of course. Underneath this temple should be a hold I'll place it somewhere near Deep Forge 1. So this is where the original Deep Forge was. The original Deep Forge dwarves probably escaped to the surface here a century ago after the collapse. I'm only interested in finding that entrance, and since I won't be finding anything, any treasure you find is yours to keep. Seriously? That means we only have three party members. Right, you look for the hole and we'll take care of the rest. Let's get to it. Okay, we can actually set the difficulty right from here instead of go uh, going to the manual every time. That's already a huge improvement. On screen enemies. Hmm. Some enemies are not affected by the setting. What about alpha enemies? Do they get a special visual sprite on the map? Strangely, you have a setting for uh, that lets us choose between random and touch encounters. Can I pick that mushroom? No. It's just there f uh, for visuals. Ether. A lot of games like to start you right near a dungeon instead of near a town, huh? Sure, it's more exciting that way, but, well, towns can at least provide a sense of security so, so that you'd have a place to fall back to if you get hurt. Where the hell are you going? The temple's that way! That text box is rather wide, huh? Hmm. Wait, what? Hold on, it says on-screen enemies off. Some enemies aren't affected by the setting. Very weird. Do they- do enemies have an- the- uh, do, will enemies chase me do their AI? I think- I think they're gravitating towards me, slowly. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough to memorize which ones are which. Which ones actually give me stuff. Okay, they did see me. Promise, can this team actually win? Does Hermes have anything? Okay, good. He has non-elemental damage. Regen. Hmm. Blessing. Okay, he's got some basic stuff. Prone... Reduce aggro, passive ability. Stealth lasts for an entire battle, but damage taken may break the effect. Backstab. Parry, crushing blow, and cleave. Are these tight to weapons, or do they learn these naturally? 100% chance to counterattack when struck. And increases aggro, but it only lasts for one turn. 50% def by default. Okay. Can deal can deal with barrier enemies. Strike all for sixteen. Yeah, these do these are still tied to weapons. She has poison by default. All right, do these respawn if they at all? Reanimated dead. Does guarding restore MP? Because if I can't restore MP, I might be screwed.
turn order. Show go first. Okay, attack. Yeah, does Garden give me any resources? I need to actually know this. I have to use my mouse to select it? What? Oh no, never mind. That was weird. Backstab. Does guarding help at all? Yes, guarding does restore MP. I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, if I can do that, I can at least sustain my resources to some extent. I am on the easiest difficulty, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to... Wait, do we only get four save slots? Lame. Didn't we get more in the previous game? Tonic. Life powder, okay. Smite learned. Okay, good. Now he has a natural spell he can use without worrying about his weapon. Yeah, I don't think they respawn. And, and since my encounter, random encounters are off, that means... Hmm. I guess if you turn off random encounters, you'll get the... Uh, you only have to fight the on-screen ones, huh? Turn on-screen enemies off. Hmm. Then we'll get invisible encounters. But some enemies are not affected by the setting. A whole lot, awful lot of skulls down here for it being a Helonian temple, huh? Think someone's been digging them up? Yep, probably grave diggers looking for valuables. I imagine they got a nasty surprise when the skeletons rose up and attacked, though. Yeah, what's up with that? My only guess is that something bad happened in here. And I have a hunch that it's only going to get worse than the further we go down. Yeah, now I don't see... I think... Uh, yeah, I changed the ram and car mode, so I don't see anyone blocking the halls. Ether. Hmm. A temple secret? What? Potion. And some dude that... Some random thief. They must be the grave diggers that they were talking about. I see. Lever armor, HE, okay. So that was quite dangerous. Tonic, okay. Antidote. Oh, we got some good drops this time. Should probably spend some time actually being up more enemies so I can, uh, so I can out equip everything. Do we have a bestiary? I don't see one. That, that's... Uh, that kind of sucks. Buy the cherries. 6G. Looks like there's a, a, an abandoned campsite over there. How about we start a fire and rest for a while? But sleep with one eye open, because we're not alone. There are speeds everywhere. So how do you find out about this place? This temple is closer to Gabonport than it is to Helonia. Kind of a weird spot for dwarves to be digging around, isn't it? I didn't know a thing about it until Hermes showed up. He convinced us, me and my employer, Edmund, to check it out. He said he saw the temple in the hole underneath it in the vision or something. Vision? But who sent that vision? A vision, you're king, right? You know he could just be screwing with us. Hey, Chilis, you better not be screwing with us. I'm not, I promise, and my name is Hermes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If we don't find this hole we're looking for, I'm kicking your ass. 
Cut out, dammit. I'm paying you all the same, aren't I? If you don't think you can handle the job, then turn around. Man, I was just messing with him, anyway. Let's all just try to get along, alright? Well, I'm all rested up. Let's get moving, shall we? Okay, I can rest- Anytime we need a rest, we can always return to the nearest campfire. Who needs an end when we have these? But we don't have any way to buy supplies. Hi, Efer. Mana berries. Mist potion. Linen robe. How hard are they on hard mode? Level 4 at party. Three of them, that's really bad. Reposte. Would Reposte be worth using here? Stealth. Hmm. Prayer. It wasn't a guaranteed counter rate. She still got hit at least once. But still, that does make things a bit easier. Nice. Nice. Oh, but she's bleeding her butt out. That sounds wrong somehow. Ah! Well, I got him, but it was pretty tough. Dirk. Still has backstab. That's why I usually like to equip two different types of weapons on a dual-wielding character. That way, I get a better variety of skills. Hopefully, I'll get that option once we find the sh weapon shop. Alright, let's see if level 5 is enough for you. Okay, that looks pretty ominous. Hello there. You shouldn't be here. Leave this place. The hell's the lich doing here? Doesn't matter, he's blocking our path. Now let's do what we we're hired to do. Uh-oh, looks like he's got a barrier. Ray, I'll let you take care of that. Yep, just leave it to me. A crushing blow or two should do the trick. Crushing blow. Stealth. Smite. How m will that be able to one shot them on hero like mode, though? Damn, it didn't one shot. Leave. Haze. Smite. Oh no! But that takes care of the minions. We have the advantage. Is this guy even affected by poison? I can't... Uh, d I don't think he is. Crap. Prayer. Attack. Backstab again. And now for healing. Nice crit. Oh, he's doing his barrier again. Not that it matters, because we'll crush it. Alex and Hermes might as well just guard for this turn. Okay, barrier's down. Let's go back to attack spamming. No, wait, it's still up. Never mind. Crushing blow again. I hope I don't run out of MP for you. Guard. 
and guard. You're making a great mistake. A great mistake. Don't tell me that going here is going to accidentally help Zamus in some way. Now that I think about it, Zamus, his name sounds like Zamase. Does that mean that entire kingdom was is his is in on his evil plans? Hmm. Oh wait, we we automatically healed after that battle. That's convenient. There's a giant hole here. Don't tell me cast uh, cast off is gonna pop out of it, just like in Legion would. Oh, we found it, boys. The entrance to the Ambrose Underworld is right in front of us. Neat. I guess he wasn't screwing with us after all. So are we gonna jump down or what? But how did? But that vision. Who sent it to you? Oh heavens, no. We're done here. Done, so we're just gonna pack up and leave? Yep, this is a fallen expedition, lass. We've gotta hire a crew and gather up a couple months worth of supplies. We'll be reclaiming Deep Forge 1 soon enough. Yeah, it would be impractical for a group of free to Ford to actually take uh, to take on such a dangerous place. One month later, on a ship bound for the Lost Temple. Huh? I recognize some of the people here. Once again, thank you all for joining us here today. The goal of the Deep Forge expedition is simple. The reclamation of Deep Forge 1, the first home of the dwarves. Our expedition will be splitting the two teams. While the dwarves and I will be responsible for moving and securing supplies, you eight heroes will provide assistance and protect us as needed. Eight? Wow, we're already getting a full uh, two full parties. In addition to cash payment, each of you are entitled to any treasures you found outside of Deep Forge 1, of which there are bound to be plenty. The Ambrose Underworld is teeming with untapped gold mines. The eight of you will be working together on this expedition. I understand that some of you have never met, so I'd recommend you all get to know each other before we arrive. Hmm, doesn't seem like uh, quite as urgent as before, where we had to fight off an, I an evil dragon lord. We have about an hour, so take your time, that is all. Huh, now raised by yourself? Uh, but having only four safe slots really sucks. Why did they cut down on the number of slots? Oh, um, hello. Huh, you don't look too excited to see us again, I see. Well, it's not you necessarily. Yeah, I know. Alex takes some getting used to. I know that from experience. So you're a Helonian cleric, right? Yes, I joined the clergy just a few months ago. Really? That soon? You're quite a strong cleric for being so young. I er, uh, thank you. So I was wondering about how you learn about the temple. Do you really just see the place in the vision? How'd that work? Yeah, it was sort of like a lucid dream. I believe a higher power guided me to it. When we arrived at the temple, it looked exactly like it had in my vision. Oh no. So it's a literal, literal dream come true, huh? We know t uh, two other characters who saw visions, and hopefully you received your vision from Helena instead of Zamus. Yes, you could put it that way. So if you don't mind me asking, why are you here now? Shouldn't you be back at the clergy? Oh, um, I well? I do kind of need the money. I see, I'm sure we'll have a great time working together, Hermes. Yes, so do I. Thank you, Ray. Rupin and Gwen, right? I've heard a lot about you two. I think we've met once back in Westvale, haven't we? Too bad you didn't join the party. I think so. I remember you and the rogue over there. It's nice to see you again. How have you been? Oh, you know, the usual mercenary work. It's tough, but it puts food on the table. I'm a little surprised to see you two here. I figured the Slayers of Typhus the Worldbreaker would be a bit too busy for an underground expedition. Actually, we're here on orders from the King of Helonia himself. We're investigating the... Vacation. We're long overdue for one. Wait. What were you investigating? Sounds confidential. What the heck are you, uh, Gwen? Where, where, where are you two hiding? Yeah, vacation. Sorry. We've barely had a moment to rest in the past three months. Exploring the underground may as well be a vacation compared to the other work we've been doing. Hmm, but... The, uh, so, maybe they're, uh, the king secretly hired them to investigate uh, any f information on Lolith, and they think sh there might be some in the underworld. I see. That makes sense. I suppose we'll be working together, then. Yep, should be lots of fun. Right, we're looking forward to it. We're, we're, we're working with you and your rogue friend, right? We're looking forward to it. Your friend over there doesn't look like she's having a good time. If you want, I have some herbs that can help with seasickness. Uh, thank you for the offer, but I think she'll be fine. If she knew any better, she'd go downstairs with the dwarves. I can't blame her for not wanting to, though. Dwarves tend not to care as much for personal hygiene. Heh. <laughs> Sorry, not much for small talk. But I hate ships, always get sick. 
Try not to throw up. There's some cute guys up there here. You wouldn't want to make a bad first impression. Uh, yeah, right. There's a bunch of dwarves and a kid. The rest are all women. But do you see who's down there? Uno, the master of husband himself. Can you believe it? Uno is here? I wonder what business he has on a trip like this. I don't know, but I can't let the opportunity go to waste. Think I can seduce him? Hmm, I have a feeling he'd be a bit tougher to seduce than your average drug. Plus, doesn't he already have a girlfriend? Plus, well, you might not be his type. Yeah, yeah, I know. No chance for me. Guess I'll be sticking with you two, you then, huh? Huh, <laughs> whatever you say. I'm pretty sure he already had a hot night with one of the witch sisters. Yeah, there she is, actually. Why did Melody have to come along? Now I'm gonna get to talk to him. Uh, now I'm not gonna get to, get to talk to him at all. Whoa, where'd you come from? Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. You're stray, right? I've heard of you before. The one only Helonian Dragon Knight, right? Yeah, I guess so. I've only been training for a few months, though. Technically, I'm still Roof Squire. But you have your own dragon, don't you? You must be quite much stronger than you look. Can Straza join us on this journey? Yeah, but I wouldn't call myself her owner, though. Straza and I are partners. One of my duties is to help mend the relationship between humans and dragons. Pretty cool, huh? I, w I wish I could have brought Straza with us. I'd rather be back in Helonia training with her. Hey, cheer up. How about a friendly arm wrestling match? What? No way. You destroy me. Huh, I'm only kidding. I hope so. Jeez, her arms are bigger than my head. When I'm done talking to everyone else, I should go ask Edmund how much longer we have before landing. What are you talking about? You haven't talked to... Er everyone. I want to stay back in Helonia, but Ruth thinks this mission is really important for some reason. Yeah, Ruth is must be gunning for Lola. That's the only explanation. Hope we get her soon. Really don't want to throw up. Hey there, you're Uno, right? Or er, okay, he doesn't look like he's in the mood to talk right now. He doesn't look like he's in the mood to talk right now. What do you want? Hello, I'm just getting to know everyone. I'm Ray. What's your... Sorry, not interested. Oh, well, all right then. Looks like I won't be talking to you. I can't... It doesn't even... She doesn't even turn when I talk to her like this. Yeah, the, this mission is important. It's definitely got something to do with Lilith. No one would... No sane hero would leave such a loose end unturned, right? Are you done speaking with the others? If so, I'll rally everyone together while we're preparing for landing. Not yet. Good thing they give me a prompt instead of just booting me into the story. Very considerate. I think the doors are down here. It's probably best I stay and talk to everyone up here instead. Well, I already did that, so I, I guess we better just continue the story. I'm done. Let's go. The hole goes a bit deeper than I expected it to. It'll take a while to get these supplies moved. Hermes, I'll need you to assist the dwarves while the others press forward. Yes, of course. Oh, there's an item shop. Is there? Yes, yeah, so the shop all the way at the top. But wait, if we're just... Is, it, is this the entire game just one giant dungeon? Or is there going to be like a underworld like in Final Fantasy IV where there's like a separate... Uh, an underground world map full of lava seas. Lava oceans. We're going down here first, correct? I suppose we'll go first. Wait, where are you? Huh? She jumped! Damn it. What? People, there's a ladder for a reason. What the hell are they doing? Did they not just... Did they not hear what I just said? Yeah, Uno's been acting kind of weird for some reason. He's usually not like this. But I guess now's as good a time as ever to practice jumping. Look out below! Hagar, just who are these people you hired? You didn't tell them this was a suicide mission, did you? Of course not. I looked into each of them. I'm almost certain they'll survive the fall. And what about you four? Are you stupid, uh, all stupid enough to jump too? I'm sure we'd live, but no thanks. We'll stick with the ladder. Ray, would you two like to join us? Of course. I was hoping to watch and see how you fight. Wait. I don't get to. I don't get to edit my party. Alex, Ruth, and Gwen were added to your party. Uh, okay. Two physical fighters, one mage, one thief. Uh, all right. Your goal is to clear out any obstacles below and find an exit. Good luck and please try not to get yourselves killed. You're not going to turn out to be a traitor, are you? Because, you know, th these guys who are usually, uh, usually in charge of the mission sometimes turn out to be uh, uh, also, also have their own agenda. Your goal is to clear out the enemies below and find an exit. We have some extra supplies and equipment for purchase if you need them. Good luck and please try not to get yourselves killed. 
We'll take care of the supplies. You all focus on finding what's down there. Wait. Oh crap, I put some... I put some linen equipment on him. I'll be helping the dwarves stay safe while we move supplies. Good luck to you. Can you heal me? Hiya, I used to run the pub over in West Hill. I heard about the expedition and figured, hey, can't pass up the opportunity to serve an ale and make money off a big group of first aid dwarves, can I? Anyway, you came to me to buy healing items, right? Here's what I have. I'm not used to the items being on the right side of the screen like this. I've always wanted to see my family's homeland. You, you know, want to know what happened to Deep Forge 1? Sure, why not? The story goes that the dwarves of Deep Forge 1 were wealthy and prosperous, having hoarded enormous amounts of gold and rare gems. But they always wanted more, and that, that greed became their downfall. They kept digging and digging and digging even more until the ceiling above Deep Forge 1 became unstable and eventually collapsed. The castle and all that wealth was either buried or washed away in magma. No! Many dwarves died claiming their gold. The others fled in shame. A few of them stayed underground, but the others chose to dig to the surface. My grandparents were f the founders of Deep Forge 2 above ground. Even if we don't find the castle, I'll be happy knowing I did my family proud by looking for it. I'm thankful that you're all here to help too. I'll get to work on smithing new weapons once we reach the castle. These are all I have for sale now. Long sword. It's quite an upgrade. I need to think about this. I don't have much I can really sell here. Other than old clothes. Okay, I definitely need a Qatar to replace the dagger, uh, the, the basic dagger, and that'll give me more skill variety as well. Hmm, I need to think about this. Breastplate is better for defense. Okay, how exactly do Roof and... Oh no, they don't, they don't scale their levels! That... No! I was hoping they all start at level 5. No! Well, I'm sure I'll get them all to the level cap at some point. Dang it, they, let, they scaled in the previous game. Why not this one? Well, then again... Night Bewitched 1 was remade. It's possible that the remade version actually has more quality of life features than the sequel. Because the sequel, I, I don't think it was remade. Yeah, that could be it. I think that's exactly what happened. Okay, guarding. Restores 20% MP. I think, is that more than what they usually restore with MP? Guarding. Yeah, with this, I would, I could draw some aggro. I could you, you combine both this with rays in order to draw almost all physical aggro to the physical fighters. Yes, yeah, so that would be a pretty good combination. Two tanks. 29 damage and disarms target. Okay, okay reduce strength and prevent counterattacking. Hmm. Yeah, I need to think about my my purchasing decisions here. I was hired on to, to do research, but not, not to move the supplies. I'll be glad to, when this part is over. Gonna have to set up police to get all these supplies down. There's nothing for us to do this way. Oh, we can't just explore the rest of Ambrose, huh? Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Night Bewitched 2. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.